We felt powerless at the beginning of the year when our inept rulers nearly plunged us into World War III. We were humbled by a virus that showed us that we don't have things as figured out as we thought we did. Mosques were closed, Ramadan was done at home, mental health declined and marriages dissolved. Many of us were forced into reflection and as a result our faith strengthened. Our appreciation of family was reinforced and we watched in awe as the call to prayer was proclaimed openly in many unexpected countries. And we saw the true selfless nature of humanity as we helped one another through this difficult time. George Floyd reminded us we're still plagued with the same problems of racism. Countries like France, China, India and Sri Lanka came out openly as Islamophobic. Countries like Morocco, Bahrain, UAE made friends with Israel and showed us that they value money more than humanity and brotherhood. Habib retired from the UFC because of the request of his mother. He showed us that you don't need to compromise your beliefs just to fit in. An orthodox Muslim comedian made it to Britain's Got Talent and did us proud by reminding the nation of its responsibility in tackling racism and Islamophobia. Mike Tyson boxed again to show us that age is but a number and the real fire burns within. <laughs> and let's not forget this guy who claims to practice Iron Crotch Kung Fu. Its most famous technique involves swinging a steel plate capped two meter long log through the air to smash into a man's crotch. But we all know he just doesn't want to have kids and doesn't have the balls to tell his wife. <laughs> we saw science make leaps and bounds by seeing the first self-healing robot, the Neuralink making developments and were humbled once again by discovering the largest star. Halima Adin, Sana Khan, Nilofa did our sisters proud and left the materialistic and exploitative industries. Uh, Harry and Meghan left the royal family for I guess similar reasons. Let's not forget KFC who made their own games console which the world still doesn't know how to react to. Trump left the White House kind of, and UK left Europe, I think. <laughs> More importantly, we learned not to follow our leaders blindly. Disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute. Perhaps you could sort of take it on the chin, take it all in one, in one go and allow the disease as it were to, to move through the the population. Do you regret taking a half hour journey to Barnard Castle? Well, it's just, uh, it's been, you know, it's been such a tough year for so many people. We learned the value of faith and family. And so, after all that, we say Alhamdulillah. That despite 2020 being such a crappy year, we end it with having the faculties and facilities in place to be able to listen to this video and say, Alhamdulillah, we lived through that and we survived.